Monday the 8th of September. My name is David Papier. Welcome to the UCX Capital Morning Market Bye. The S&P 500 hit a fresh closing high on Friday after the US non-farm power data grew by only 142,000 last month, far below the 225,000 forecast by analysts in a Reuters poll. The Nikkei closed at 15,705, shrugging off data that showed the Japanese economy fell into a deeper hole in the second quarter. In FX, sterling weakened to its lowest level in nearly 10 months on Monday, and cable has suffered its biggest one-day drop in eight months today, amid worries about the political uncertainty linked to the vote in Scotland. The euro also steadied at 1.2936, holding just above a 14-month low of 1 spot 2920 hit last week in the wake of the European Central Bank's easing steps on Thursday. The dollar was also steady on the day at 105 spot 13 yen, remaining shy of its near six-year high of 105 spot 71, touched on Friday. In commodities, spot gold was flat at 1268 spot 61 an ounce, well above the three-month low of 1256 spot 90 hit on Friday before the US jobs data. Brent crude edged up 0.1% to 100 spot 96 dollars a barrel after having posted its third weekly drop in four weeks. West Texas crude is under pressure again, dropping below 94 dollars a barrel, eyeing up the next potential support at 92 spot 85, as concerns that global demand may reduce as the US economy seems not as buoyant as it hoped. In equities, Associated British Foods is at the bottom of the FTSE today as the company maintained its annual earning guidance with a good finish to the year from discount fashion chain Primark offsetting continued weakness in its sugar operations. In terms of today, China's exports rose more than expected in August while imports unexpectedly fell, data showed on Monday, pushing the trade surplus to a record high for the second consecutive month. British Finance Minister George Osborne said on Sunday that plans will be set out in the coming days to give Scotland more autonomy on tax, spending and welfare if Scots vote against independence in the historic referendum on September the 18th. So all eyes are on the UK-centric banks such as RBS and Lloyds, plus Cable versus the Majors, as this snap showed that 51% of support to break the 1707 Act of the Union causing outflow of capital as traders protect against uncertainty. The FTSE 100 today was called to open 8 to 12 points lower. It's now trading approximately 31 points lower at 6839. That was the morning market bite. Thank you very much.